Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about diffusion in a crystal. You must have heard about the word diffusion in chemistry before. In this video, we will understand diffusion in a crystal and we will see uh, different mechanisms of diffusion in a crystal. So let's start. First of all, let's try to understand the meaning of the word diffusion. To understand that, let us consider two vessels two vessels connected by a narrow tube connected by a narrow tube like this and a stopper is placed over there like this okay this is a stopper that won't allow the solution in this and this get mixed now let us consider this one is a this chamber is b let us put let us put a salt solution over here this one is salt solution and similarly here let us consider let us consider there is water this is clear water clear water nothing else so initially the concentration of sodium chloride in this was high and there was no sodium chloride present here at all that means we can say there is zero sodium chloride concentration over here <coughs> and when the stopper was removed from here when the stopper was removed from here that means when the two solutions or two liquids were allowed to get mixed then what will happen sodium chloride concentration will start to get increase over here right and that of here will get decreased that means sodium chloride and acl will start to move from higher concentration region to a lower concentration region are you getting me so the movement of matter from a high concentration region from a high concentration region to a low concentration region low concentration region is called diffusion in science now let's see the definition that is diffusion of crystal diffusion in a crystal let me erase this person Okay, so at any finite temperature, atoms, ions or molecules occupying the lattice sites in the crystalline materials vibrate about equilibrium position. That means at any finite temperature, we, are, we know that according to, the third, uh, uh, according to the third law of thermodynamics, the crystal is perfect only at absolute zero. So if we start to increase the temperature, if the temperature is increased, then what will happen? The atoms or ions will start to vibrate at their crystal lattice okay they will start to vibrate like this at their crystal lattice the point defects permit atoms or ions to move over distances much larger than the interionic or interatomic distances so we know that when the temperature is increased when the temperature is increased there will be creation of point defects such as Schottky defect Schottky defect or Frenkel defect or vacancy defect vacancy defect these are different types of defect that may appear in a crystal <coughs> and due to the formation of these defects the ions will start to migrate from their original crystal lattice the ions will start to get migrate due to the point defects such a motion of atoms or ions to a far away lattice site is called diffusion so we know that due to the point effect, the atoms or ions will start to migrate from one, uh, one position to another position or one crystal lattice to another crystal lattice. Such a motion to a far away lattice site is called diffusion in a crystal. So diffusion is a process in which matter is transported due to thermal motion of atoms or ions. So in crystal, we can simply say diffusion is a process in which matter or atom or ion migrate due to thermal motion of atoms or ions. So I hope you understood what the word diffusion in a crystal actually is. Now let's move forward. <coughs> now there are certain characteristics of diffusion. The first one is solid state diffusion is slower in compact structure than in open structure. So this simply try to say that suppose if the atoms are little farther that means they are not compact or they are open then a material or an atom or ion will easily get migrated like this. 
but what if the atoms in a crystal lattice are not open they are very compact and an atom needs to migrate from here to here or needs to diffuse from here to here will it be that much easy no not at all so this is the gist of this first point that is solid state diffusion is slower in compact structure here it will be slow diffusion diffusion because of the compactness and here it will be fast diffusion fast diffusion because of the openness now the energy required to squeeze most atoms or ions through a perfect crystal structure is so high that diffusion is nearly impossible so what will happen in a perfect crystal in a perfect crystal that means if there is no point effect at all like this so the atoms will be at their crystal lattice now another atom needs to migrate now to migrate you can see over here there will be a repulsion force between them right now it needs to move them little away from each other now if there is no point effect present at all then the the squeezing force or we need to apply so much energy okay the energy required to squeeze to squeeze it inside it will be so high that the diffusion is nearly impossible it will be very difficult now, lattice defects in crystal enhances rate of diffusion so lattice crystal this type of point defect will enhance the rate of diffusion the empty adjacent site and enough energy to break bonds are the condition for migration of atoms in solid so empty adjacent site that means there should be an empty space like this and the bone should be easily broken for the migration of atoms or ions that is for the process of diffusion in a crystal now let's move forward <coughs> now what there are different mechanisms for at uh, for atoms in a crystal so lattice diffusion take place due to the movement of point effect due to the movement of point effect there are different mechanisms there are vacancy mechanism interstitial mechanism and interstitial c mechanism so we will understand about them one by one first of all we will see what vacancy mechanism is then we will see what interstitial mechanism is and then we will understand about the interstitial c mechanism this is a very simple concept you can easily understand it in one take okay so let's move forward first of all let's understand about the vacancy mechanism so what is the meaning of vacancy let's see the point then i'll explain you with sketches okay so in this mechanism an atom jumps into an adjacent vacant site another atom jumps into this created vacant sites and so on so what does it mean look at here suppose this is a crystal lattice this is a crystal lattice like this okay this is a vacancy this is a vacancy then what will happen look at here this atom might migrate from here to here and as a result of that this vacancy will be created over here similarly this atom will take this vacant site the newly formed vacant site and that vacancy that vacancy will be created over here again this atom will take the position of this newly created vacant site and this vacancy might be created over here and as a result of that we might end up getting something like this we might end up getting something like this so we can see over here the atoms have migrated this atom migrated from here to here this from here to here this from here to here and uh, yeah this from here to here and the vacancy moved backward it, it seemed that the vacancy moved backward and reached over here so what do we see due to the creation of vacancy if there is a vacancy of atom somewhere then the atoms or ions might easily migrate or diffuse from one point to another 
So movement of mass or movement of atom is called diffusion, right? Now the exchange, the exchange of atoms or ions occurs from the normal lattice position to its adjacent backend lattice side. I have already told you the exchange of ion only that ion will take the position of that back and see which is very near to it or adjacent to it the direction of the vacancy the direction of the vacancy vacancy motion is opposite to that of the diffusing atom so this back end side is seem it seem to be moving in opposite direction than that of the diffusing atoms right so i hope you understood about vacancy mechanism here one vacancy one vacancy will be there that is a vacancy point defect will be there now to fill that the adjacent atom will take its position and a new vacancy will be created over here like this now another adjacent atom will take the position of that vacancy and another vacancy will be created over here in this way the atoms will diffuse from one point to another point and the vacant site is seen or is uh, yeah is seen to uh, to be traveling in opposite direction to be moving in opposite direction so you you already understood about vacancy mechanism i hope now let's move and see what interstitial mechanism actually is so if an atom or an interstitial site moves to one of the neighboring interstitial sites the diffusion occurs by an interstitial mechanism so let me draw something let me draw a crystal structure like this. This is also a very simple concept. You will easily understand it. Suppose in this case, suppose in this case, <coughs> there is an interstitial atom or ion. So interstitial atom or ion generally has smaller size as compared to that of normal lattice, like normal lattice atoms. And as a result of that, this might, this might get diffused from one point to another. Now, here, as the size is very small, it can easily migrate or it can, it can easily uh, diffuse from one interstitial site to another interstitial site. It doesn't have to affect any of the uh, lattice atoms. It uh, migrated from here to here. Now, this same atom might migrate from here to here that means diffuse from here to here this one can diffuse from here to here it can diffuse from any place to any point to any point here it doesn't have to affect any of the lattice positions right lattice atoms it doesn't have to affect any of the lattice atoms it just has to uh, take the position of it just have to take another interstitial position it is so simple right now this mechanism is Probably, this mechanism is probably probable when the interstitial atom is smaller than the atoms on the normal lattice position. I already told you this atom, this atom is smaller than this atom. The interstitial atom uh, will find a vacant interstitial site nearby. Consequently, the energy of activation for the interstitial diffusion is lower than that of the self interstitial diffusion. The point simply try to say that the energy of activation is very low. That means it doesn't require much energy to uh, to move this atom from this position to another interstitial position. So this is most likely to occur. Similarly, diffusion of interstitially dissolved light atoms like hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen and oxygen in metals provide the best example of this mechanism. So, if these type of light elements are dissolved in metals, any metals, then they might get diffused by this mechanism that is interstitial mechanism because the size of these light, element, uh, these light elements is very small as compared to that of normal metal atom so i hope you understood about interstitial mechanism now let's see the third one and most important one that is interstitial c mechanism okay the third one is interstitial c mechanism so this is a very simple concept you can easily understand it in single take as well first of all let's see the definition what does it say so if the distortion becomes too large to make the interstitial mechanism interstitial atoms move by the interstitial c mechanism so if the distortion become too large 
okay let's see another point then i'll make sketches and i'll make you understand it properly so in this mechanism an impurity interstitial atom displaces an atom in the regular lattice side to another interstitial side and thus occupies the vacated regular position so let me make the crystal structure of some imaginary crystal okay these are the crystal lattice or lattice position where the respective atom is situated now let us consider let us consider there is a there is an atom in the interstitial site like this now as you can see over here i made it little bigger right comparable to these now if it wants to diffuse will it diffuse by interstitial mechanism no because as the size is larger it will be very difficult for it will be very difficult for it to get diffused from one interstitial site to another interstitial site due to the distortion because the distortion will become too much distortion simply means if it wants to go from here to here it has to distort or destroy or change some the shape of it they will go outward and we don't need it we don't require that to happen so how will it migrate from this position to other position so in such cases what will it do it will just displace the neighboring atom it will displace the neighboring atom and it will take the position of this atom are you getting me so i'm simply trying to say that it will take the position of this atom like this and the atom which was over here initially will become a new interstitial atom and this will be removed from here and this will be removed from here so i hope you, i hope you understood it properly so initially this atom was on the interstitial side now due to the distortion this cannot move by interstitial mechanism so what did it do it just displaced one of the crystal one of the adjacent crystal lattice atom and to the interstitial side and it took its position again this might this might take the position of this and displace it over here and take its position like this and take its position like this its position like this and this atom came over here as interstitial atom so i hope you understood it properly so in this way you can see an atom over here which was over here initially moved here and with the an atom which was over here initially moved here and that just displaced the crystal lattice atom that was initially at their lattice point to an interstitial side this is the interstitial c mechanism this is very important mechanism so uh, it it is an indirect interstitial diffusion mechanism so it is not direct interstitial but it is an indirect interstitial the reason for that is the atom actually uh, comes from interstitial side and something some other thing goes to the interstitial side again so that's all in this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to subscribe the channel to make my face look like this thank you bye bye